Here we are going to have a quickie video of the Leica X2 Paul Smith Edition. The X2 replaced the X1, made a lot of improvements, and that was in 2012. This is four years ago, and uh, this particular one I think came out in September 2012. Uh, I managed to buy one used recently. I didn't even get a, the XE until recently, just a few weeks ago. And I really love these cameras. I had the X1 back in uh, 2010. Proved to be probably my most successful camera in terms of quality images. But I'm gonna run through this real quick. I don't have the box here. If you look at my, uh, if you look at my video on the XE, it's the same general thing. Almost the same box, up a little bit larger. And I don't know, maybe the. I don't think it's really any fancier. It has. Um, some other stuff in it, you know, like, um, uh, well, what does it have in it? it have a, a sort of a half case or something, um, uh, with a, a more improved strap or something for hanging it around your neck. I'm not into that kind of stuff. I don't even have the Leica strap on here, although I do have one at home. I'm talking about wrist strap. But, uh, anyway, if you look at the XE video, then that will prep you for this. If you already know what that is, then, uh, no problem. Now what I do is when I'm carrying this particular camera, and this is an expensive camera, it, uh, I think it sold originally for $2,750, whereas the uh, uh, X2 was $1995, so about $750 more to get the special edition. What I carry my camera in are the Leica carry cases, made by Leica, or made for Leica, and they're these clamshell things. And when you put your camera inside these things, uh, let us see what it looks like here. The camera body fits flush inside the case, like that right there. And then you just flop the clamshell down with its um, magnetic closure on the top here. And you got yourself a carry case that completely encloses and protects the camera. And you carry it vertically like that with the shoulder strap. So it has the advantages of completely protecting the camera, being very convenient for carry, hands-free, and because of the design of the case, which is really, really nice, you can take it anywhere. You can take it to weddings, funerals, uh, proms, you name it. It's just a perfect carry case. And it doesn't cost that much more. And since you're already buying a Leica, you know what, how that goes. Anyway, the Paul Smith edition is the, uh, has the orange on top, the yellow green on the bottom, and it has the uh, wrap around or skin is the, uh, what they call British Racing Green. I'm not sure if we can get enough light on that to really show that very well. Uh, but I suppose, you know, you could lighten that video. It's a slightly dark green, I guess, is what that is. But it's but it is green. And then uh, the lens is basically the same as the X1 and X2. And XE is the uh, 2.8 uh, 24 millimeter, which is the 35 or 36 millimeter equivalent focal length. And 35 terms. The uh, lens around here actually screws off. We can see that here if I can actually get that off. It's quite a bit of threading. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, we can mount certain kinds of filters and other things there on that uh, lens by uh, taking that surround part off. So that's a real plus. Seems to be very well made. This does have a lens cap, which uh, does not enable a lens cap string, unfortunately. So I can't, uh, you know, you can lose it real easy. The uh, flash here is enabled by a little switch on the back, and it pops up. It's the, uh, I don't know how to describe that. It's on a little uh, platform. They say that's improved from the way that the old one worked, which is just in a cylinder. And uh, talking about the X1. And you got the lugs on the side for your shoulder strap or or wrist strap or whatever you like. And uh, we have a full up hot shoe here with a hot shoe cover. And that's very professional. We have our shutter dial here. We have our aperture dial here. You'll see off, um, single shot, continuous. Continuous is like burst shooting. Here we have for manual focus. We have this little wheel back here. And then we have the uh, play button delete focus um, what do we have let's turn that on we have to take the lens cap off actually to even turn this thing on 
So uh, the play button, if we have any photos on here. No, we don't. Let's take one. Take a little snap right there. Put it on playback. This camera is a little bit slow and primitive. It doesn't have a real effective IS. It has the two picture IS and that's it. So uh, let's see, and delete focus you can change from, um, oh no, that's playback mode. You can change from one point, eleven point, that sort of thing, which is nice. White balance right here, ISO here, and the info button just changes your prompts, but you have a grid if you want. And uh, let's see what else we got here. We got the uh, screen's fairly simple, 230K I think is the number of dots. It's fairly primitive. Here we have, uh, you know, your exposure compensation. Then we have um, down here we've got uh, autofocus or manual focus. And over here we got the flash settings. And over here we got your know, self timer and so on. And then if we go into the menu, it's all on one page here. Or well, it's all on. You now it's a single menu. You don't really have a uh, separate setup menu or any of that. It's very simple, very effective. So let's uh, open the bottom and the side of this thing. Now, so far, I'm using a uh, WinXP computer with this, so uh, for some reason, it doesn't connect the camera itself for downloading directly from the camera. Might need a driver. That's a uh, that's the uh, old mini USB there, not the modern micro USB. It's the old mini USB, and then down there below that we have a uh, HDMI port. Uh, they have a nice cover on here; it looks very durable. The uh, cover on the uh, uh, battery and card port is really good, also. I like it. So the battery is a pretty hefty battery because it's made for the uh, X cameras. It's the same for all the X cameras, even the bigger ones. And it's a uh, see how many. Sixteen hundred. It's a pretty big number. Sixteen hundred, and then uh, in here we have the uh, card port for the SD cards, which is right about there. I typically use a micro SD inside of an SD frame, and it gives me a little more flexibility that way. Uh, I want to discover about this. There's all the markings on the bottom for all the different uh, federal approvals and so on. Tripod socket right there. Tripod socket is nearly centered. Looks like it's pretty much centered for the way the camera, which is a good thing. However, when the tripod's in, the, in there, and you're probably going to have a, a little bit of a platform on that uh, tripod thread, so you're not going to be able to get the battery cover open with uh, sitting on a tripod. So... So we got, that's pretty much it for this camera. Uh, the, uh, like I said, they improved from the X1 and the dials are much tighter now. They don't move when you put them in a case or in a pocket. And uh, the on off switch pretty much stays put where it is. So all in all, it's a very well made camera. The quality of this, physical quality, seems to be amazingly good. Pretty much like the X1 except better, I think. So there it is, the Leica X2. Paul Smith edition, 2750 retail when it came out. I got it used. I'm sure glad I did. Got the last one they had at the Leica store in Miami. So um, there you go. Thank you very much.